Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorias, my name is Alex and uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you simple trick with the long shadow effect in Gray Design and along the way we are going to create this horrific text effect in Gray. So let's start our tutorial by bringing up a new document panel. Alt N or Option M on your Mac to bring up a new document panel. I'm gonna design on this website medium 13, 16, 6, uh, 7, 6, 8. Click uh, to bring up your canvas and I'm gonna cover my page with the rectangle. So grab the rectangle tool or click R on your keyboard and uh, draw a rectangle to cover the page. I'm gonna choose some very dark, almost black color 222 on my um, hexadecimal values text field. Uh, click this locker to lock the uh, rectangle and uh, type the text with the text tool. So grab the text tool or click T on your keyboard and uh, to type something that makes sense. I'm, I'm typing rainbow and uh, I want to first and enable this skill font on resizing option under appearance panel. So I can drag my um, uh, bounding box and scale my text and um, after scaling my text I want to change the typeface to Python Python from the web fonts uh, collection of Gravity Designer as uh, you know the web fonts collection is the Google fonts library embedded in the Gravity Designer okay as you can see a uh, part of my text is uh, clipped by the bounding box so in order to remedy this we need to go to the sizing and click on the auto and i want to make the text white okay so far so good we are ready to apply our long shadow effect so hello to the effects more than shadow and pick up this effect long shadow effect right now you don't see anything because the long shadow is uh, black to transparent black basically this is uh, how it looks by default uh, and i want to change it by introducing the gradient to the so you ne we need to bring up the color picker by clicking on this color option and uh, on the color picker first navigate to the top drop down and select the liner gradient as you can see right now that this gradient arranged from uh, left to right as you see the representation of it on the slide and unfortunately we cannot drag and rearrange it as we do it on the simple object it's just this option is not available for us but we can pop it swap the change the size of our gradient or we can rotate it by angle of 45 degrees so rotate it right and left with the icons these icons rotate icons on the uh, just opposite this uh, swap icon okay so i want to quickly introduce some colors put some colors to my gradients uh, starting from the red something like this okay i'm totally fine with it uh, in order to create something similar to this we need to first navigate to density and decrease the density density basically controls how many copies of this object you will get in your final effect long shadow effect so by decreasing the density you will decrease the number of copies the minimal value is 5% the maximum is 100% so let me show you the 5% density and it's just a few copies as you can see and then uh, you can use your up arrow key to introduce more and more and more and more density but here I want to set it to 6% and increase the length to 140 pixels so increase the length to 140 pixels and start playing with the angle and my angle is supposed to move my shadow on the top of my text so it will be around 50% it looks nice right now 
And finally, we need to use the band effect from the distortion group. So uh, head over again to the more and then uh, select the distortion and then select the band effect. Uh, this is not what I'm looking for. So I won't delete the, uh, this straight um, X and introduce a little bit of straight Y here. So I want to bend it a little bit to the bottom. So the middle will be uh, bottom and the size will be on top, something like this. Uh, okay, this is the final effect. Just a few tricks for you today right now, but it looks very um, nice, especially bearing in mind that it works up with absolutely everything. So you can apply it also to the raster, to the vector and all of object that you can just paste in uh, Gravity Designer. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, give us some pop, subscribe to my channel, visit vitorials.net for more Gravity Designer and Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Don't forget to uh, join the groups, uh, uh, Gravity Designer tutorial group, Gravity Designer user group and have a nice day.